Okay, okay. All right. Okay, okay. Thanks, thanks. All right. Hi, guys. I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I just got off the phone with your family members. They wanted me to remind you that you have to eat your vegetables. You may have heard that diabetics should avoid vegetables. You may have also heard that the moon is made of cheese. Don't believe everything you hear. The truth is, no vegetable is completely off the table. Some of them are better than others. The best veggies are low in glycemic index, high in fiber, and not smothered in ranch dressing. Let's talk about glycemic index. It basically measures how quickly your body absorbs glucose from a particular food. Like your golf score or electric bill, lower number is better. Seriously, just turn the lights off and you leave the house. How hard is that? What I'm trying to say is that while you should stay away from starchy vegetables such as potatoes or corn, there are plenty of vegetables with a low glycemic index. Here's my countdown of the top 10 vegetables. Number 10, Brussels sprouts, glycemic index of 32. Unfortunately, Brussels sprouts get a bad rep because too many people think that they're just gross, fun-sized cabbages. I've got news for you. You're supposed to roast them. Of course they're gonna taste bad if you eat them wrong. The only reason I don't have them higher on the list is because they can give you gas, which your family may not appreciate. Number 9. Green beans. Glycemic index of 32. Green beans only have about 4 grams of net carbs per cup, which makes it a great snack alternative to potato chips and pretzels. Historians say that people have been eating these for over 7,000 years. Wow, they must have been chewing really slowly. Number 8. Spinach. Glycemic index of 15. No, it won't make your biceps swell like footballs, but it will make your bones stronger and support your immune system. The best thing about spinach is how easy it is to use in your diet. You can blend it into smoothies, saute it, or use it in salads. Just be sure to check your teeth before you go on a date. Number 7. Bell pepper. Glycemic index of 15. Like green beans, this is a great snacking alternative. Unlike green beans, it's really annoying to cut up. Seriously, I feel like I'm carving a miniature pumpkin every time I'm cutting bell pepper. And why are the yellow and red ones are more expensive than the green ones? Number 6. Zucchini. Glycemic index of 15. This veggie is fun to eat and even more fun to say. Zucchini. Zucchini. What was I saying? Oh right, try zucchini. It's great in a stir fry. Number five, eggplant. Glycemic index of 15. This is one of my favorite vegetables, despite its inexplicable name. Like, what, what egg in the world is purple? And you better believe that if something hatches out of an egg that size, I'm running as fast as I freaking can in the other direction. Number four, broccoli. Glycemic index of four. Research indicates that gently steaming your broccoli maximizes the health benefits. And while you're at it, your button down can probably use a gentle steaming as well. I mean, you can also eat the broccoli raw. If you're a total badass, who needs to punish your taste buds? Number three, cauliflower, glycemic index of 10. Or as, or as I like to call it, albino broccoli. Cauliflower is incredibly versatile. If you're not keen to put it on your vegetable platter, you can mash it and use as a substitute for rice. You can even make pizza with a gluten-free cauliflower crust. And if you do, you will be able to hear the faint sound of thousand Italian chefs weeping. Number two, mushrooms. Yes, mushroom is technically a fungus, not a vegetable. But this is my list, so deal with it. Mushrooms are great in stir fries and soups. Or you can just marinate them and toss them on the grill. Number one, asparagus, glycemic index of 15. A study published in British Journal of Nutrition indicate that eating asparagus can help control type 2 diabetes. Turns out, asparagus can actually increase the insulin production in the body. That's why it earned the number one spot on my list, despite having a higher glycemic index in its more uncomfortable phallic shape than the vegetables before it. 
Vegetables are an important part on everybody's diet and it should be for every diabetic. If you're a diabetic, you should be a little pickier about which ones you're eating. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you hit that subscribe button for more great content, even if I made you eat a vegetable that you don't like. In the next video, we are going to talk about the worst vegetables for diabetes. So stay tuned.